Hello my good people and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate your point of sale or e-commerce or any inventory system or maybe for that matter an ERP machine uh, system with uh, eTeams which is a KRA API. As you know that, lazima tulipe ushuru tujitegeme. And for that matter, if you're in business, you need to know that whenever you're generating any receipt, any invoice, it has to comply with KRA requirements. And for that matter, it means if it is a receipt or an invoice, it needs to have a QR code, which can be used for verification for that matter. So for you to get that, uh, that one, then you need to integrate that uh, point of sale or that kind of system that you're using with eTeams API. And in this case, I'm using this system called CorePoint. CorePoint is a point of sale, which is developed by the company we refer to as uh, um, DigiPlus. So it's a good point of sale for businesses. So in case maybe you are selling products here and there, this is one of the system that you can uh, get in touch. And I'll direct you to the guy who is in, um, uh, selling this kind of system. So for, in my case, my work is to do the integration. And as you can see, it looks like this. So you can search the product and uh, do a few things here and there. But my core uh, topic today is to show you how you can do integration with the uh, eTeams. And uh, for that matter, there is a going, uh, there, there is a course which is going to follow up. In case maybe if you want to learn in details of how it is done, then I can take you through uh, just with a few points here and there because you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You don't need to learn from scratch. You can learn from people who have got this knowledge. So that's why I normally share all this kind of information. And in case maybe it's your first time to be on this platform, this is called Star Technologies, one of the best tech YouTube channel here in Kenya. And also we normally share and learn from each other. Each other. So it's a community of sharing and um, uh, caring for brothers who are coming in the field of IT. So uh, as I said, today we are going to check how you can integrate your system with eTeams API. Remember, KRA has got two different types of API. There is the Teams API, which is the old one, which uses ETR machines. And there is the new one, which is now what we refer to as eTeams. That is the latest one. And eTeams, it has got different products for that matter. And where do you need to start? The first thing that you need to start is that you make sure you have a system that you want to integrate with your ETR, uh, with your eTeams uh, API. Uh, it can be a point of sale, it can be e-commerce, it can be uh, ERP, it can be also maybe in an, an inventory system. So in this case, we are going to use CorePoint. The next, you need to visit to eTeams Sandbox. This is the link. I'll share it on the description. And as you can see, uh, this one, um, this is where you need to visit this link. Then you make an application. So in case maybe to your system, then Come on, who's your customer? For that matter, the customer is the one who is going to because he and your Anatomia system goes and all that. So you need to visit this site and sign up. So you just need to click here, enter your KRA pin here, then you verify. Once you get the details, you can proceed and you log into the system. If it doesn't log in, then it means maybe it's not upgraded to ETM system. So you need to write to the KRA, um, this ETM support team. Then they will... Uh, no, now upgrade your KRA pin to uh, to the eTeams and you can go ahead and now register here. Once you register, you'll get access where you can request different types of eTeams services. Uh, for that matter, I normally share the PDFs and they are uh, publicly available, the PDFs for um, the API documentation for the eTeams so that you can get to understand and it can guide you on how it is done. I normally share that information in different uh, platforms. It can be WhatsApp groups for the IT, uh, for techies and so forth. Uh, but in this case, if you want that documentation also, you can get it from the official KRA website and you can go through it. There's no problem with that. Uh, in my case, I just share this information and the reason why is normally charged is because obviously taking my time, my sources, electricity, internet connectivity and so forth. And also you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You, know, you don't need to start from scratch for that matter. So yeah, that's why I normally take people through um, through a course for eTeams. I also done uh, done for banking APIs. M-Pesa API, it was the first one. Uh, that is the Raja API. Uh, we have got SMS and many other APIs. I normally take uh, through developers that they can get to understand how these things works uh, instead of going back to uh, scratch and learn how these things can be done. And also I normally do integration for 
customers, clients, and so forth, uh, apart from also creating systems for them. So uh, once you register, because as I said, the step number one, have the system ready. Second number two, register here. Number three, once you log in to this platform, request for the service. And once you request the service, they will approve it. And once they approve it, now you can get the software in this case. Um, I'm using the, I requested for VSCU uh, service, which is an ETM service. And once you request for that service, you get the software. And once you get the setup, that is .jar file, uh, you need to deploy it on your machine. That is the server machine. And in this case, I've developed, I deployed it here. So I want to show you, um, it is a Java file. So I deployed it on uh, Tomcat. Uh, for those guys who are familiar with java it's going to be a bit easy thing for you so web apps then we have got items so this is it i need to come here and write cmd and then press enter deploying it it's a it's quite a process there are requirements that you need to meet uh, which i'm not sharing them here uh, this is the information which i just share for those who are willing to enroll for this course for that matter so uh, because the the file is well deployed uh, this one as you can see these files the next thing is to run this is a server now the ETM server the same way we normally have an ETR machine which is connected to your network the ETR machine is the one that is used to sign the receipt and once you sign the receipt now you can generate a receipt which has got a QR code so in this case I'm going to run this uh, VSCU server uh, which is now intended to sign the receipts once I click like that as you can see it's loading uh, like that Enlarge yeah, like that, uh, push it a little bit there at the corner. And I want to know the IP address which is going to be used for this matter. Uh, for the many, so this is the IP address for now. It's like the IP address of your ETR machine. And in this case, for because we are using software version for the ETs, then this is the IP address which is going to be the endpoint where I'm going to push my receipt or my shopping cart data so that it, the receipt can be signed. So in this case, once I do that, now that one is up and running, I go to the next part, which is now, uh, that one I can minimize, I can minimize this one, then I will open the system. My system, which is core point, it's hosted on ZAM. This is htdocs. htdocs, I will go to core point folder, as I told you. Core point is a point of sale, which is developed by a company by the name uh, Digi Plus is one of my friends. We have worked for quite some time actually um, um, in terms of this uh, point of sale. It's something that we have worked together, uh, but is the owner of that product. Uh, so in this case, this is the project as you can see. And uh, the code which is signing the receipt, it's, for, it's under transactions. Uh, let me just open like that and I will uh, just come here and make sure I put the end point for signing the receipt correctly as you can see that ip address must be right then i uh, close like that then i'm good to go i just need to make sure my zamp is up and running as you can see apache so the php because the system is developed using php um, it can work as a desktop application it can work as an online point of sale so still it works properly so now as you can see apache is up and running my sql my system is not using my sql because uh, sometimes if you want to package the system, you can use it's using the SQLite database, which makes it easier to make the system at least work even offline. And uh, in this case, um, that is ZAMP is up and running. I go to the next part, which is now um, uh, to run this one. As you've seen, uh, if I go back to core point like that to log into the core point, I will be good to go. No, I've not logged out. Sorry. I log out. Then you can enter the password, then you proceed and log in. Once you log in, now you can start selling products. So in this case, uh, let me show you the database at least, uh, because if I show you the database, which is an SQLite, it's going to make your work easy. So this is the core point database, which is an SQLite database. I'm going to open it using BB browser. And I want to show you transactions we are going to be stored. The transaction, we have got two tables. The one which is going to store transaction lists. These are details of the shopping cart. Like if you have got um, different products on the shopping cart, then they will be listed here. Then when you generate a receipt, uh, you have got the details of the receipt which are going to be here. And as you can see, there is uh, these things like uh, quantity, cost, price, uh, uh, details like even the receipt signature from the now there, from the items. E uh, these are the details that you normally store. So in this case, uh, that is the information that I gather once I 
to transact. So let me go back and now, sorry, 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 sorry. Click load. Don't know whether it's going to load. Now, um, here I'm going to, I'm going to search a product and uh, it's MM. I can say I want to buy this blue. I can make it two. I can come back and buy another product, this one. And this one I can make it three like that. Those are two products that I've added on the shopping cart. The system is very simple and straightforward. Um, so uh, now, because now the products are on the shopping cart, uh, now I can go ahead and make payments. As you, as you can see, uh, they are costing uh, 600 and, uh, 560. So I can say these customers paid only 1,000. Or maybe I can say maybe they paid... Uh, 400 and uh, they paid uh, maybe for M-Pesa they pay 160 something like that or maybe they give a uh, 500 not and because the 500 is not enough M-Pesa maybe they end up paying 100 so as you can see it's going to calculate for the balance which I can get from this one so uh, if I click complete sales I expect the receipt to be signed so I want to minimize this one and show you the server for the items which is going to sign there as you can see it's up and running so I need to click there and you need to monitor. If I click this one, then I this one is supposed to sign. These are this is the server for the items. This is the system for us, which is using ZAM. So if I click complete sales like that, as you can see, this one is supposed to sign. So as you can see here on the items, these are the details of the data which are forwarded here. And now after data which has been forwarded here, it is going to sign. Once it signs, I get a receipt. It's going to be generated immediately. And as you can see, these are the details. Like, for example, there is a um, uh, what? Let's say check what? Uh, receipt, 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 signature. Is it possible for me to check this information in a faster way? Amount, mm, receipt, signature, signature. Uh, receipt, receipt, signature. I'm looking for this one, which is going to take a lot of time and it's not necessary for now. Um, because I can't trace it uh, that fast. I have to check all these details so that I can be able to uh, internal data. Um, okay, I'm looking for this information, the one that you can see here. This is the signature for the receipt. And this signature is the one that is generating this QR code as you can see here. So uh, it's getting from here. So if I trace it very well, you can see here, yeah, 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 this one. This is the signature which I'm getting from the items API. So once it signs, I generate the uh, QR code. And now if you scan the QR code, now you'll be able to know whether this receipt is genuine. And this one I can maximize and you can go ahead and click print receipt and it's going to print a receipt or invoice for that matter. It's going to look good. So that is it. Let's check on the database whether the information has been stored there. So click there, open browser like that we said the one that is going to store the transaction is transaction list and as you can see there are details here which have been captured uh-huh what next we need to go to transaction items and as you can see transaction items have been captured here and uh, here we have got the details of uh, something which has been signed like that so that is it and as you can see everything is okay like uh, if i click to this one i enlarge you can see the receipt which i've received uh, the signature which i've received from the eTeams api it's now being captured here uh, something like that so let's confirm whether it's the same as you can see uh, this is seven something blah blah blah, blah. it's only that I want, let me enlarge this one how do you enlarge this one why is it not capturing everything well uh huh yeah yes like that db and then db like that so the details are well captured like that so that is it um if you need integration just feel free to inbox me uh my contact is always 0700711233 uh just through whatsapp you can make a call if you need to learn as a developer i will have a good um I have fee for you because I want you to learn something new. Uh, this was one of something that I've been waiting for the longest time possible, at least. It's one of my 2025 resolutions. I wanted to make sure I'm good in the uh, integrating with eTeams. Last year I did Teams. It worked perfectly. Um, I've been doing it for quite a number of customers who have been using Teams. Uh, that is the ETR machines. But now 
we have got now the the new one which is um, etf machines for the bank integration i've done bank integration for quite a huge number of um, banks that is equity corporates bank ncba we have got um, dtb uh, we have got uh, which one else there are like five uh, which i've done um yeah, remember the last one uh, even i have got a course that covers that um, let me it might be easier if i show you it was an api master class uh, as you can see for the bank we have got cobank dtb equity we have got kcb we have got ncba and yeah like five of them and among them uh, items so another api that i was wondering how i can fix it and now it's good up and running so in case maybe you need to learn feel free to reach out to me and now everything is going to be available for you so, and at least we start moving businesses to uh, a place where they can comply to the care uh, the actual customers because most of the customers they normally request for these receipts which are signed and if you don't have them then it becomes a, a difficult thing so as you can see the point of sale is one of the best thing uh, it's, it looks nice so in case maybe you might need be in need of this pos feel free to reach out to dg plus i will also share the details uh, in case maybe you need that one and you can get in touch and tell you the terms of how you normally sell the product don't sell your product so for that matter so feel free to reach out and we are going to get in touch thank you remember to subscribe and share to as many people as you can that's how you normally support this platform thank you see you on the next one